in my damn truck. It's sorry I, as hell. I don't know why you'd park back there. Give me my truck to get somebody else right here, bro. That's sorry as hell. It's a sorry way to make a living. It's really not. It's so simple. All you have to do is pay to park. It's just, I, I've got more to say, but just get the truck so I don't say it. You get mad, I get mad. No, I don't, I don't hold it. I don't keep anything personal. There's yeah, nothing personal about this. I'm pretty sorry. Let's just get the truck and get the money. Let's go. It's a setup. You're under waiting to make yeah. some money. That's for them. I promise it's very simple. You just pay, you just park. Fat, man. You just park where you're supposed to. You can't go back into the lot here. You can keep your right up here if you're going to talk to me that way. Well, yeah, I'm going to talk to you that way. Okay. Well, get, get your on the other side of the gate. Get your on the other side of the gate. I can get the PD here if you want to go that route. If you work for the state, then you should know better. I know better. Well, obviously you don't. I've got your money. Over, 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 over. I don't have to give you tonight. This is after hours. I can make your walk if you'd like. I'm walking. I can walk more, buddy. Let's do it. Let's walk some more then. Well, we got somebody following us in anyway. We're gonna follow them in. Maybe. No, they changed. <laughs> He's like, nah. Saturday nights in the bird. To the place we don't really ever go. I've not been here in a while. Until now. Big red over there. I don't know what's gonna so, I mean, they can park anywhere they want. No, that is in the five guys spot. Those things over here. If she would move, you could get right out of here. No, I doubt it. I doubt you'd be able to get me to that corner here. Mm, probably not. What is she doing? Is this a flower lady? Yeah. How are we doing, I'm running. Oh, I'm about to get a red truck that's not supposed to be here. All right, do I need to move? Maybe. I might be able to make that corner. Okay, yeah, let me know. Because I was going to say, come out here, I can move. Thank you. Just don't hit this Nissan over here. I saw you running. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Can I get that white car? You're good. You're good up front. I'm gonna unplug this mic while I do this walk around. I mean, it's pretty obvious. doesn't apply to me. Right in front of the car. Okay. I have a hotel. 
Watch out, Hank Kerrig. Hope it runs okay. Break it! You'll have to pull forward. Yeah. I'm ringing him, he's gonna go up there and block the traffic. Okay. Thank you so much. I don't think we'll make it. I can't see my front up here. Thank you guys. That was intense. Did you see the dolly tires? It was like straight. <laughs> These guys are gonna block the road for us. So nice. Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, man. The light's red. Thank you. Awesome. Well, that was like a lot of teamwork. That's what it takes to get the that Five Guys stuff, man. There's no way, guys. There's no way that's happening by myself. You know, without Kristen watching, I need every inch that I can get out of. And we don't get a whole lot of Five Guys anymore. Like I was saying, this no. is the first one in months oh yeah you know every now and then we still get the parking lot cheaters but yeah like i said every bit of space that i could possibly get and uh the two employees helping me uh get out of there and, and rosie just, moved her car so rosie, you, yeah. you couldn't have gotten out of there if she didn't move her car no and uh you know rosie's <laughs> rosie almost got towed one day <laughs> rosie didn't leave a, a note in her in her car saying that she uh she had permission to park there and she uh her name is rosie because she walks around and she sells flowers downtown so she'll mm -hmm. she'll park there and um and she'll walk the gatlinburg area and, until she sells all of her flowers and then she'll go home sounds like fun yeah but anyway yeah rosie about got towed one day she <laughs> she forgot to leave her rose lady uh placard on her dash but anyway yeah without her moving that was five guys is a challenge i mean if you're in there 
looking for cheating cheating parking boy you really had your work cut out for you which blows my mind because they've got this big expensive truck and they just parked it in like the most difficult parking lot backed it right up in front of the sign yeah. right up in front of the sign and it's like i i don't know cars are expensive and i kind of value my stuff and i would want to make sure that it's parked in a safe spot yeah that's the thing that drives me crazy i mean this is my work truck but still mm -hmm. it drives me crazy i wouldn't want to like park it someplace where it got door dings or you know somebody pulling out and scratching it and backing into it and that's exactly what's going to happen back there because mm -hmm. it has several times which is which is the other reason that the employees get so mad because that place will get all packed with with people trying to cheat parking and uh and they'll get back in there and it's dark and they don't have anybody to spot them like you know i've got kristen to spot me and the employees they don't have anybody like that so when they're trying to leave boom they're raking down these employees work hard for their their stuff they don't want yeah. don't want cars that are beat and banged up and mm -mm. anyway like i said doesn't happen very often but it is busy season and we did get one from five guys and they're probably going to preach to me about how they're handicapped and they can park anywhere they want and um so stick around stay tuned it's a busy night youtube's got to see this come on let it go let's hear it come on <laughs> go get it go. come on <laughs> People are having fun. It's good to see people having fun. <laughs> oh goodness. Love it. Everything on Hey, we just got back and our vehicle was towed. It's handicapped parking a red truck, Dodge. Oh yes, sir. Um yeah, that was parked in the employee spot and they had a they had a delivery truck coming too, so it was it was a kind of a bad timing for you there. Well, I mean, they said we could do it. One person did, but uh, but they said they didn't speak English. So we asked, you know, with a handicap. And so they said, well, they couldn't charge you. But Yeah, I mean, if it was a handicap spot, maybe, I guess. It, <laughs> well, we got, got that tags. Yeah, it wasn't a handicap spot. It was an employee uh, parking spot right. for their dock, yeah. Hey, what what do we got to do? What's the deal? Um, as long as you're the registered owner, ID matches registration. We release the vehicle back to that registered owner. Uh, the cost associated is has to be cash. Cash? Yes, sir. And that's uh, that's crazy. You got to come down from that. We've got a handicap sticker there. Yeah, like I said, sir. If you, if you were handicapped parked, then that. Uh, or do you bring it to us or how does that work no you'd have to get a cab or an uber or something over to the lot i can't release it without somebody there that, that owns it what's your address uh 221 newman road All right. 221 newman road yes so we're gonna have to get a ride to there Yes, sir. Yeah, I have to. The ID has to match and, and uh, for the release. Is it there already? Uh, yes, sir. I've got some cash in my truck, but I'm hoping you'll negotiate with me when we get there. We've got a handicap and first responder. Got you. you know, and then, of course, you got a foreigner that told us we could park there. Uh, I'd, what, why would you pay attention to a foreigner? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> workers, you know, they work there. I don't. Yeah, I mean, it's there's there's parking all over Gatlinburg that, that are that it's all paid. Well, I don't. We, I don't know why you well, take a chance just, on it. <laughs> well, you dying, you know, and said parking here. So. Yeah. You know, that's that. What's that? You just got to pay for it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's all paid parking. I, I don't. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. That's just the. That's just what it is. Well, you would. I. We're arguing over nothing now. Just yeah. see what kind of can help me on the way. Like I said, we're first responders also. So. Okay. Do what you can do with the cops. Okay. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll see you there just as quickly as you can. I guess we uh, we don't keep anybody there after hours at the gate, but uh, as long as I know you're coming, I'll get somebody over at the gate to meet you. Yeah, we're coming. Okay. All right. Thank you, man. All right. Bye. All right. Okay, guys. Um, cruising back into the lot. I guess we should touch base on some things before he gets there. Um, you know, once again, just because he's a first responder and a handicap and he thinks that uh, he deserves a discount for cheating the parking lot over there and keep this in mind Kristen brought up it, it's <laughs> he has a handicap placard which means 
any of the city handicapped parking spots he could have parked for free and uh, any of the handicapped spots you know there's so he already has a huge upper advantage and okay. uh, he chose to to park in in the employee only parking when she has a delivery truck coming on top of on top of what he did there and he thinks that it's okay and and yeah also he he said well I asked why if if, it, if you thought that it was fine for you to park there why would you even ask somebody yeah uh, so it just doesn't add up but he's he's coming he quit with the arguing over the phone because he wants to negotiate in person so stick around stay tuned We've got more of that coming It's a tow truck. It's got uh, auto loader and, and dollies. Why would you think it would? Because the back wheels are locked. It's in park. Sure. So you hook to the back. You hook to the front. Had to. Have. Yeah, absolutely. And we've got auto loader and dollies. They don't pick. What I'm saying is, they don't pick the whole truck if they had to would have picked the front end. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Auto loader and dollies. Obviously, you're not a tow truck person. So if if I no. if I say that to you. Then I guess you just don't understand what I don't. I don't know how else to explain it. It's an auto loader and dollies. I, it picks it straight up. It's off the ground. Yes, sir. All four wheels. Yes, sir. I've seen stuff get towed. I've never seen that before. Well, uh, that's what we use, and uh, that that hints the price. You know, you, you're back there in a in a crazy spot that. Uh, it's quite the undertaking to get that truck out of there. I can't imagine parking it there, so. Yeah, it was hard to get there, you know, yeah. but I dropped it off and went back there. So, are you coming or just someone you work with or what? Yeah, I'm actually right here at the stop sign, so I'll talk to you in just a sec. Oh. Now he wants to talk to me about how I've torn his truck up now. Which we did not. All righty. Do you want to look at some dollies? Auto loader and dollies. These little wheels, these little wheels right here go up under the back and it picks it straight up. I got, I got one on the boom there and then if it's all wheel drive, four wheel drive, then those wheels go up under the back and it picks it, it, picks it straight up. So now what can we do on the prize? If you depart, you should have just parked in a in a in a well, parking spot that was for handicap, and you'd have been just fine. Well, they they said the foreigner said it was the same. We already went over that, so I'm trying to work with you now. I, yeah, that's that's the best I can do, man. I there's there's how, are you just now getting into town? Yeah, we walked most of it. No, tonight. You just got here tonight. Yeah. If you got here yesterday, then you got to know that parking is at a premium in Gatlinburg. There's paid parking lots everywhere. Yeah. Well, I, that's I, uh, exactly. I you know it's. You should have. You should have at least got a handicap parking spot. I had a handicap sticker. And it, I asked the lady on the way in. Hoble, no hoble, but nodded her head yes. So, but yeah, this is what happened. And I, you know, and this is where I'm frustrated. A little hobo standing there with the women. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure he probably notified you. Hey, I got one here. That's probably why we're having paid. You're paying him a hundred. No, it, doesn't, it definitely doesn't work that way. That sounds a little corrupt, don't I you think? I work in a prison system, so I know. I'm a state employee so, working in prison. So. So, so everybody's corrupt well, in your mind. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty corrupt. Huh? Now that's not the way it works. I promise you that. We don't, we don't pay anybody. That's and all you, had to do, all you had to do was, it was pay to park. Right. Or, or get a handicap not park. permission. Yeah. We're, 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 Man, we're you open. parked right in front of the sign that said not to. Right, but I got permission. <laughs> no, obviously not People because they come back out. They called That's me. That's why I'm saying it's a, it's a, it's a rig. Well, no, it's not a rig. I promise you that. We we get we get phone calls from the manager of that store, and she says I've got a truck on the way, and I've got somebody parked in an employee parking spot, That's and I need true. it removed. That's all true. I'm not, yeah, I'm not I don't pay. Man. I promise, I don't share my money with anybody. Right. My goes it goes to me. I don't I don't share it with anybody. Well, I'm asking you to negotiate while we go in here. I I don't I don't negotiate. I'm sorry if 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 that's if that's where you're at, I'll get the truck out for you. If not, then I'm sorry. Yeah, well, we're, we'll get it. Gotta have it. That's sorry as hell. I say that. Yeah, I, yeah I, well, like I said, man, it's. I don't know why you would. My damn truck. That's sorry I, as hell. I don't know why you'd park back well, there. Just give me my f truck. That's sorry. All right, man. well, you got ID? Yeah, I do. Okay, let me see. Make, make sure it matches. Hell. Get somebody else right here, probably. That's sorry as hell. That's a sorry way to make a living. It's really not. It's so simple. All you have to do is pay to park. Well, that don't, that don't matter to you. You should, it, you should see the handicap just, tag. Listen, I'm just doing my job. They call well, me to remove it. Dollars is not, not, not right. Did you not see what it took to get that out of there? 
I, did you not did you not pay attention to what it took to get that truck out of there? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. It's it was horrible. Yeah. It was horrible. Traffic, people walking well, everywhere. It's just, I, I've got more to say, but let's get the truck, so I don't say it. You get mad, I get mad. Uh, no, I don't, I don't hold it. I don't keep anything personal. There's well, nothing personal I'm about this. I'm pretty sorry. Let's just get the truck, get some money, let's go. <laughs> It's gone 30 minutes and you have a yeah, you, you, It's a setup. You're under waiting to make yeah. some money. That's for them. Well, whatever you think, man. Whatever else, Whatever makes you think that uh, that's what's going on. But I promise it's very simple. You just park. You just park, man, you're, you're, you're park where you're, you're, where you're supposed to. We're good. We're good. You just park where you're make supposed to. Money and go on. You just park, you, I just need keys. You can't go back into the lot here. You can keep your right up here if you're going to talk to me that way. Well, yeah, I'm going to talk to you that way. Okay. Well, get, get your ass on the other side of the gate. Get your ass on the other side of the gate. We're on the other side of the gate. I can get the PD here if well, you want to go that route. Hey, I work for the uh, state, buddy. I know more than I you know. I don't care who people. you work for. So you should know better. Fun. If you work for the state, then you should know better. I know better. Well, well obviously you don't. Truck. I've got your money. Over. 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 Get out of the way. off your property. I don't have to give you tonight. This is after hours. I can make your walk if you'd like. I'm walking. I can walk more, buddy. Let's do it. Let's walk some more then. That's the way you want to play this. I've got you. You want to be a about it? I don't need to be treated this way. I don't. I'm just doing my job. So if he wants to act like an ass, then that's what we'll do. We'll act like an ass. He's just mad. Okay, where's the dollars? Give me the bucks and I'll go get the truck. God, I don't know why it's so difficult about it you act like it's my damn fault and all you had to do was park where you're supposed to his name on that registration that's in that glove box yes, sir. if i could get a peek of that registration that'd be great uh, that's as long as his name is on the associated with the truck about to get a little heated. Uh, it sounds like it already did. Okay, guys, once again, I'm sorry. I, that was a short fuse and he just would not quit. So he got a little part of it. So what you're saying is he got to be angry, Jack. Yeah, which is happening more and more here lately. Guess you get older. <laughs> More grumpy. I think when you st you start calling me for doing things that I don't do, I'm gonna stand up for myself, and I'm gonna you're not gonna run over me at least not to my face. So did he say he worked in a prison and everyone's corrupt? Yeah. Yeah. So does that include him? Yeah. You should have asked him. I should have. Yeah. I mean, he. Oh, I work in a prison. I, I know how this goes. You're and, and again, on top of on top of all that stuff, he wants to be racist. You know. Uh, well, the little. Uh, non-english speaker i'm sure you guys got a thing going on where you he tells me yes i can park here and then you come back and give him his cut and uh oh, oh. like wow that's uh that's some pretty big accusations there yeah I, so you know like i said i'm i'm here to try and help you when you're gonna make those sort of accusations towards me i i'm not gonna play nice i, I don't know how else to put that that's that's just and, and, and I told him, you know, the same as I tell everybody that's, you know, wants to type this stuff out to me or message me or you've got a scam going with uh, with the non-English speaking guy here and you've got a scam going with the restaurant. And and I told him, you know, I don't, I don't, I promise I don't share my money. <laughs> All of that money is going to me. I'm not sharing it with anybody. It's basically our electric bill and the IRS. Yeah. People want to say, oh, well, yeah, you don't. You're not paying your taxes, and I pay I pay all of my bills, and I'm not sharing my illegal park. All you had to do was pay to park, or and he wasn't understanding that. He says, "Oh no, uh-uh." He knew. He was there for what do you say? I was there for 30 minutes. This is definitely a scam. 30 minutes, just like the one that you've got on the back of your tow truck. He said you're scamming somebody else. <laughs> he, the one we've got on the back of our tow truck, guys, is a local that uh, had a flat tire and, and uh, couldn't afford good tires again. And uh, we've got another one of those on the back here. And so yeah, it's definitely not a uh, park where you shouldn't on the back of my tow truck like he thinks I'm scamming somebody else. I don't know why. I, don't, I mean, that's, I guess, is that your go-to? You... I, I think they just don't like it. And so it's a, it's a scam to them. 
but like, you know, it's, I mean, it's pretty obvious. We did the parking lot video. There's tons of places to park. It's very well marked. Yeah. He knew. He knew what he was doing. He just didn't care. And, you know, on top of all that, he, you know, he told me he was a, a first responder is what he said. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he, he may very well be some, I don't, I don't know, or had been or, but, you know, he's handicap and now he's telling me he works in a prison do you, do you work in a prison or are you a first responder or maybe you can be both i you know i don't know but either way you're in you're an authority figure so you should know better i, I work for the state buddy i know more than i don't you know care who people. you work for you, you should know better if you work for the state then you should know better i know better he should know better and he was definitely trying to use his foot taller than you to try to intimidate you and stuff and it was not. I was quite uncomfortable here in the truck watching it, so I was ready to intervene. I don't play nice under those circumstances, guys. If you're going to try to intimidate me, I promise I, you're going to get what's on my mind. There's no, there's no reason in the world that you should be trying to intimidate me over your mistakes. And I clearly told him, you know, I, I'm here to try and help you. I'm, I'm doing you a favor here at, at 1030 at night back over here at the lot to make sure you've got your truck back because you parked it where you shouldn't have parked it and uh, then you're going to stand here and you're going to speak to me that way no i can i'll close that gate back up and you can come get it at eight o'clock in the morning and that's exactly what i told him he changed his tune real quick after that he walked away and his i don't know what he was to him associate. buddy friend associate had to finish up finish up the transaction because you know not only could he not park correctly he couldn't act correctly as well so kind of went hand in hand with that one and but anyway, that was a, one of the more wild, I don't know, I should just quit with the whole arguing thing. I really should. I should just go back to my, yep, I got you. But he just wouldn't. He was, he was, he was dead set that he wasn't going to pay me for that transaction. He, he couldn't understand that he had to pay for that transaction. So, you know, I, I try to be nice and I try to, I try to overlook things and just let it go, get my money and go on to the next one. But he, he just wanted to keep pushing that that wasn't the case. He didn't have to pay. So that's how that conversation got too, too far. It seemed to me like he wanted to argue with you about everything. everything. I don't have to show you my ID. I don't have to pay you. I don't have to wait here at the fence. I don't have to do anything you say. I guess, okay, so looking back, that's the part that got it all started for me and made me really mad was he don't have to, he's going to go get his truck and he don't have to uh, abide by our our, gate, our rules. gate rules and our fence. He's just, I'm, I'm going to come, I'm coming in. So mm. let's address that. Let's address the gate rules. There, you have made a few exceptions. What I have made, I've made a few exceptions and uh, one of them were, I don't know if you guys are familiar with um, the breathalyzer machines that they put on DUI convicted people. Um, they, they put this little machine and they have to blow into it and then if it gives a, a correct reading then the vehicle will then start. And I was not going to go back there and put my lips on this guy's mm -hmm. machine and blow into it for him so the vehicle would start. Because it takes a picture of you too is at the same time you're you're doing. So I don't, you know, I'm not trying to get into that. You know, you, you started my car for me and it's on you now and he'll go driving around and and uh, have some beers and say that I started his car for him. So, so I'm not you know, that was one of the exceptions. Mm -hmm. Another one I remember, the cab brought an elderly couple and they drove them right to their car in the gate. Yeah, there was no ifs, ands, or buts. They just zoomed yeah. right through. So we've learned our lesson on keeping the gate open. Uh, we make sure that that's closed because they people won't, you know, they don't see the parking sign, so they're definitely not going to. You're not going to make an elderly couple walk from their car back out. Yeah, yeah, so let's just let them go. And, and I had one with a big RV. Uh, the dually and he hooked everything up and it you know that's a slow go he had just had to go straight and we try to watch so I do make a few exceptions but when you're standing there yelling and screaming at me I know for sure you're going to get in that vehicle and you're going to tear butt out of that parking lot and sling gravel and I've got expensive things back there I you know it's Jerry and Kelly we love you we uh we don't want uh any of that stuff to get damaged got a really cool camper there and um we just don't need our property disrespected yeah or jerry and kelly's property disrespected expensive trucks and things like that and and, and you just don't you, in the heat of the moment you've seen what happened you know in the heat of the moment they've i've had people think that they were in gear <laughs> or in forward drive and be in reverse and, and back back over me so you know it, it's just that's my rule 
don't come back. And, and he knew that. He just wanted to intimidate me some more on how he was just going to go back there. And he still had his toes right on the where the gate would close and still wanted to argue with me about, uh, guys, he was, I, I guess he, messed, he spent too much time in the prison, in the prison world, it sounds like. He did not like the tables turned is what it seemed like to me. You're not going to tell me what to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Jeff, don't play that way. No. Tell me why. <laughs> Ain't nothing but a toe away. <laughs> oh, <goodness>. <laughs> <laughs> you really shouldn't park that way. Where's some more? Where's some good ones? Yeah. So, in this video here that you're watching, guys, I get these songs stuck in my head. And you've seen the girls having fun there on the parkway. They were Backstreet Boys. They were singing that. I often like to make the, the parody of... Uh... Make the song fit the situation. <laughs> <laughs> we like to have fun with it. Anyway, I'm going to quit ranting and I'm going to be in a better mood. And uh, I'm going to drop off this car and get on to the next one. So thank you guys for sticking around and uh, driving down the spur with me. I know it's pitch black and you're just listening to me ramble. But I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, guys. Wait, wait. Okay, yeah. I'm here at Food City. I figured I better eat while I can. I almost got squashed by a prison guard. <laughs> do, you, do you not understand what about happened? I almost died back there. So I'm going to go up in here and I'm going to get some food. And Yeah, I almost died. Okay.